It didn't hit that now, but after a little more study, uh, I think that that mound uh, and Osher Mound may mark the moon, uh, the northernmost moon rise, and the northernmost moon set falls across across those two mounds. And, and up in the, up in Ohio, now we're about to have it now. Up in Ohio, uh, yes, it's six fifty nine. So uh, they were they have alignments with the moon there as well. So the moon. Uh, was very very important as well so and the second most constant thing in our sky the sun's the most constant uh, that we can live by and, uh, and the moon's the second uh, even though it's a it's on a scale 18.6 uh, year cycle which is kind of hard to figure out but uh, uh, when you don't have uh, television and all that mess you know, your nature's with the things that you know, notice and study mm -hmm. and every day. And there it comes. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can I, almost I see, I can see the top and of the sign where it's there. right. Yeah, right yeah. in between the trees. Yeah. <clears throat> when you mentioned the longest days, it brought me back to my childhood with my great grandmother. Uh huh. When she was uh, three quarter Cherokee. Oh, okay. And uh, she had taught us that if you put your thumbs together. Uh -huh. And look at the horizon, you can tell just about a season. Oh, and if, that's And if okay. you do that, yeah. you can just about reach between those two mountains. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. There, so there it is. And mm -hmm. that's uh, now. Photos. Oh no no no! You're fine. I p I post them on the Facebook page for the park. Oh good. Uh, there's a website, archaeoastronomy.com. Excellent website that you should check uh -huh. out. Uh, oh you, here. <coughs> Yeah, I think I may post one of these on archaeoastronomy today. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Look at a beautiful picture with the trees out of line and everything. Oh, it is. It's awesome. <laughs> Nature's lace. And we thank you for getting up and coming and letting us enjoy this weekend. <laughs> well, I thanks. I. I, uh, it's this amazing thing to see, uh, I've been up here a bunch of times for this and, uh, and I'm just happy that it's clear. Yes. It's yeah. no fun when it's raining or too cloudy to see it. <laughs> but, uh. So maybe I'll show you those slides inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Warm up. <coughs> that, yeah, because my husband might could okay, come yeah, in yeah. and see that. Sure. He's got arthritis so bad and he cannot walk up. I understand. Uh, he would love to see them. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That, uh, you know, and the sun's moving at an angle like this. Right. So, you, as you see, it's kind of getting, it's more and more centered mm -hmm. as it's coming up. Did you see what I was talking about? Yeah. If you, if you yeah. take your dominant eye and you space your thumbs apart mm -hmm. to the horizon you'll see you'll catch the edge of this mound and the edge of that one uh i have some more <laughs> yeah i have some more information on this angle mm -hmm. though which i'll show you graphically is a lot better yeah 
But um, but that was one thing she had taught us. She, and, of course, she never wa wore a watch at all, so she never told us what time to be on it. But she would tell us, and then when the sun gets three hands from the horizon, come home because the three cows hands. will start coming. Oh. And that's 30 minutes. So 30, you had an hour and a half, and she knew what time the cows huh. was going to come back. Yeah, and she they would surround us if we didn't get out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've time. been watching that. <laughs> that's it. I've been watching that monitor. That stuff that's lost to kids stuff. today. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is so cool. Uh, uh, I have a restriction on my driver's license. I can't drive after dark. So in the wintertime, I just start looking and that? I'm like, I know I got to have 45 minutes to get home. So I leave when <laughs> I got two hands to the horizon. Why were your hands off the wheel, lady? <laughs> well, I, I'm usually at the clinic waiting to see what time. <laughs> and then once I know what time I can do, <laughs> right. I, set, I set my hours by that. <laughs> wow. I, I never Gosh. thought about how much of a, of a ang, angle mm -hmm. there is in the rotation. That, that, that's a big. That's so a big there area. should be a mound around December twenty first. Right. Uh, I, I've been up here for <laughs> December twenty first. You think this is cold? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I came up here the first time. I came up here to photograph it. Of course, it's back here. Right. And, um, I was like. Uh, and because uh, yeah. it was like 20 mm -hmm. but uh and i've got a photograph i'll show you after a while but, but uh, like if you take today and you do your hand point then you move it it should be you know right, right along in it. i haven't been able to tie it down yet but um it's going to be somewhere back the duck nest well no the duck's nest is back oh here. is it back this way yeah. Uh, so it's really there's a there's a couple of mounds okay. on the map. Uh, I think it's uh, well, ten is right here and seventeen is right there, and it's really kind of close to seventeen. And there's another one, eighteen, uh -huh. uh, nineteen, and twenty are back in that area. So it's kind of yeah. Uh, but uh, since uh, there's a there's an archie there's a a guy named Bill Romain, who's an archaeoastronomer, and uh, he's writing a book right now uh, about archaeoastronomy in the southeast, and it, which will include this site. And so he'll be able to uh, tie in some of those things a little better than I've been able to. But uh, well, so. Yeah, so are y'all game to go to the museum now, or are you, are you freezing? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I'm not freezing, but yeah. Uh, and, we'll, and get your husband, and, yeah. and we'll look at these pictures, and I can tell you a whole lot more um, <clears throat> about that. But uh, you're, you're lucky to live here. So do, you, do you live here as well, or Jackson? Jackson, yeah. okay. Yeah. So you're lucky to have this in your backyard, oh, yeah. and that it's protected by the state. Mm -hmm. um, and that you know, I was thinking that last night I got out and walked uh, around and thinking I'll be able to keep coming here even after I retire because it's a park, you know, right. and it's yeah. fantastic that it, we can come and enjoy it uh, without there being condos built. Uh -huh. <laughs> <You know>? yeah. <laughs> right. Or right. a golf course or something yeah. crazy like that. So let's go to the museum. Uh, and uh, I'll show you the PowerPoint. I'll be down in just a few minutes. I'm waiting for this to. No, I just want to finish. I'm filming the whole thing before it started coming on up. I just kind of like to have the whole sequence on there. That way I can take pictures out, the ones I like best. I've done that. I've got some, I have several shots of video of this. I like doing that with lightning. And then, you know, you get to pinpoint what picture you want to take out and. I just love some of the shots that I would never be able to get yeah. by hand. So, sure, sure, sure. oh, that's so cool with the clouds in the background. Oh, nature, thank you. Yeah, we had a. This is even though it's cold, this is a perfect uh, sky. Could not have done better had we planned for and that. And it looks like it's. Uh, it could
could have been a lot worse. It looks dark. Well, it's supposed to be <laughs> yeah. Is it mostly supposed to clear. Mostly? Mostly clear, but mm -hmm. early morning there might be some showers. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, a couple, yeah. three more minutes and we should be okay. Sure. And then we'll hightail it on down there. Sure, sure. You know what we didn't bring up here? What? Just now thought about it because I saw him hold his mug. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the car. <laughs> It's ready and waiting. What's that? Our cere ceremonial drink. That's right. <laughs> ceremonial drink. All right. Yeah, that's right. Wonder, did they prepare something like meat or, or fermented anything Ferment? during yeah oh. during that time frame already? Nobody knows for so. sure about that. Uh, I mean, like in ancient cultures over in Europe, yeah. Middle East, and all that stuff. I know that around that time they already had like beer sure 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 well uh it's possible i don't know if they were i don't know i mean it's possible um but no clues to such extent well, have been found well I'll, i mean not to be too far out or anything but you know uh again we got to think we can't think in our world terms uh but they have found uh, in Ohio, they found a, a effigy of a mushroom mm -hmm. uh, that was carved out of wood and covered in copper. And uh, it's a lot of work put in that. But it, it is a hallucinogenic mushroom. Okay. All right, and um, so and, and there's also been I have a friend that's doing some study on pipes. And they scrape the residue out of the pipe and they put it in a mass spectrometer and they mm -hmm. can tell all the chemical signature. And they, of course, native tobacco had seven to nine times more nicotine than our tobacco. Then, yeah. wow. And so you smoke that, <laughs> you're going to have an altered state of consciousness. Because mm -hmm. you have no you oxygen left for your system. Throw up. <laughs> Well, it was kind of like when you were a kid and smoked that first right. cigarette, you know, and 